Hello coders, welcome back to our channel Ayaz Tech. If you are new here, we provide top notch, easy to follow programming tutorials. So consider hitting that subscribe button and bell icon to stay updated. Today we are going to focus on creating custom Angular tooltip directive. So let's start. Firstly, ensure you have Angular installed. For that, open your terminal and make sure to check ng version. Currently, I'm using 16.0.5 for Angular CLI. If you do not have Angular installed, refer to our Angular installation tutorial. I already have created my Angular project by using ng-new command that will generate the project. So I have opened my project in the VS Code editor and my project is also running in the browser that you will see here. If you have a different version than mine, don't worry, the concepts should still apply. Let's start by creating a new Angular directive. So open your terminal in the root directory of your project and type this command ng generate d for directive and tooltip. Press enter. This command generates a directive file named tooltip.directive.ts as you can see in the left sidebar. Now let's get into this file and start crafting our tooltip directive. So this is the selector of our tooltip. First of all, we will define some inputs that we will be providing from the parent. So add input, make sure to import this input like this and I will give it a name of app tooltip. Make it optional. And now I will copy paste it three times and I will define other inputs that we need. Other than that, we need to have placement and delay. So placement would be tell that at which direction we have to show this tooltip and delay will tell that after how much time we have to hide the tooltip after the displaying it. So after that, we need to create a, a property tooltip and it would be HTML element. So this uh, uh, property will hold the HTML DOM element for the tooltip. Next, we need to create a property offset that will be the distance from the parent component, uh, parent component element of the tooltip. So now we need to inject element ref. So element ref actually give you the reference of the element or component where you have added the directive. So it will give you access to that component where you have added this directive or on the parent where you are trying to use this directive. Now after that, I will add some host listener. Make sure to import the host listener as well. And we will have two host listener. One is mouse enter. And second, uh, we will give it a name on mouse enter. So this will call a function when this event is triggered. Host listener decorator listen to the DOM events. So whenever mouse will enter, it will call this function. And when it will triggered, I will check if they start tooltip. If there is a tooltip, if it is not undefined, then we need to show that tooltip. Otherwise, we will do nothing. We have to create this show function. But let me quickly complete the other host listener. That is mouse leave. And its name will be on mouse leave. And this time we will make sure to use this one. And similarly here, I will hide the tooltip if there is a tooltip. Now we will create the missing functions show and hide. So this app tooltip decorator is used to accept data from the component using this directive. We have app tooltip for the tooltip content and placement for the tooltip position. Next, let us uh, start implementing the show and hide functions. So in the show function, I will call another function create that we will define shortly. And then I will call a function set position. And then this dot tooltip dot class list dot add. It will add a class with the name ng tooltip dash show so whenever show function will be called it will immediately create a dom element for the tooltip and it will set the position of the tooltip and it will add the class that will make it visible and we will 
in the hide we will remove the class that we just added and we will add a set timeout window dot set timeout we are using set timeout so that we could implement the delay so when you are uh, hover out or you your mouse leaves the element then a uh, tooltip will be invisible after some delay timeout period so we will use the delay property here and next i will use the function this dot tooltip dot remove all right so remove is the native uh, function of the dom element that you can use to remove a dom element from the dom next i will create another missing function that is create in the create function i will use this dot tooltip and i will create a dom element in the document dot create create element and i will create a span element with the help of this line that will be saved in the tooltip next I will add a class to this newly created element this dot after that I will fill the content in this tooltip text content title so this title will be coming from the parent I will give it a default value so that we don't get any error also that we are getting error on the delay because the type we set the type string but it should be number all right now we will append this tooltip in the body by using document dot body dot append child and use this dot tooltip after that i will create another missing function that is set position and in this first of all i will get the uh, coordinates of the parent element so where we have added this directive for that create a proper uh, create a variable const element rect is equal to this dot el dot native element dot get bounding line rect and then i will create another variable tooltip rect is equal to this dot tooltip so both of these functions will give us uh, the coordinates for the element and tooltip we will we are saving that information now i will create two variable left i will quickly just explain a little bit further in the show function we create and set the tooltips position then make it visible by adding a class and in the hide function we remove the tooltip after a delay in the create function we create a span element with the tooltip class and the tooltip title then append it to the body we will now calculate the tooltips position in the set position function here so i will create a write a switch and we will use the this dot placement if placement is top then we will set top is equal to element rect dot top minus tooltip rect dot height minus this dot offset so i will check i will actually add a condition here that will fix that problem if tooltip rect is not available then we will return it so it will disable all of the logic below this line now i will set the value for the left element rect dot left plus and then break now i will write the next case i will copy paste this case because most of the things will almost be same width and divided by 2 so this would be stay stay same now i will copy paste the bottom and now we will manage the case for left All right now we will implement the final case that is right and at the end of this switch we will set this dot tooltip dot style dot top is equal to now i will add some global styles to make it work with this directive for that open styles.scss and here i will add ng tooltip
now we have got our basic styling ready the tooltip will be absolutely positioned so we can control its position using top and left properties now it's time to test it with our html in the app component so open your app.component.html and remove everything that you have in that file then we will have a heading and in that button i will add anything over over me and then i will use my directive so make sure that your tooltip directive is declared here we already have it declared so now we can try to use it so here i will add app tooltip is equal to i am a tooltip okay and here i will specify the placement that is top then i will specify the delay that is 100 and save it now let's test it i can see there is an error it is saying that we are passing a string but we need to pass a number for that wrap it in square bracket this time it will consider it a number we made a mistake here here we should have used not so if there is no tooltip then we should show it and if there is a tooltip then we should hide it so this is how it should work so actually issue is that that we added a very little timeout period uh, so the so because of that we cannot notice the tooltip for that we have to increase the timeout period i will increase it from 100 millisecond to 2000 millisecond that are two seconds now hover on it you can see that there is a tooltip that would be done after two seconds if i hover out there is another mistake that we did that after we remove the tooltip from the dom we have to reset the value of the tooltip so set that tooltip is equal to undefined so now let's try it again and see what happens now so now if you hover on it hover out hover on it so we should remove this class after this time period now let's try it again so you can see that it will remove the tooltip after that time period of time if you don't want any delay you can remove that as well for example if you mouse out if you want to hide it should be hidden immediately i can just get rid of timeout and let's see what happens so that's how you can create a tooltip but now let us test some other placements so i will try left and let's see how it will work we got an error in the directive we made this mistake as well here we should not have used the equal sign so save it and now it should be fine so if you hover your mouse then you should see the tooltip on the other side but there is a position error so let's see what is the wrong there so here instead of using plus we should have used minus all right now let's test it again there is another mistake that we should fix we should not use the position relative we should have used the position absolute now let's try it again this is now this this is more accurate and better now we will try different placements try left it is it is showing on the left side but uh, there is nothing uh, there is no space on the left that's why it is not visible let me add some space on the left side so that we could see the tooltip style i will add margin left 100 pixels or maybe 500 pixels save it now try you can see now left side tooltip is visible now if i add right again you will see it on the right side if you add top then you will see it on the top side if you add bottom you will see it on the bottom side we have got our basic styling ready the tooltip will be absolutely positioned so we can control its position using these properties that we have just shown you that's it folks we have now a reusable tooltip directive in angular i hope that this tutorial was clear valuable to you remember practice makes perfect so try creating this tooltip directive yourself if you have any questions or suggestions please drop a comment below don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more amazing content 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.